Okay, so basically, na, uh, see here, basically what is happening here, uh, you have seen this in reality also. When you are in a car or you are in a bike and you are taking a turn, you are taking a turn, there is a, uh, there is a curved road. Somewhere in India also, in, in other countries also, they, we have the turn roads. Okay, so when the vehicle moves on the turn roads, so the person, uh, the vehicle, when the first, uh, when the vehicle move, moves uh, on a uh, turn road, okay, on a curved road, so now it will feel like, it will feel like when you observe the motion of this vehicle from the vehicle, it will feel like this, this vehicle is just thrown away from the center or thrown away uh, from the center of this uh, curved road, okay. This is just, okay, this is just the feeling. And that is, that feeling is just, you can say, that is a force. Basically, that is a centrifugal force. Due to the centrifugal force, it is happening. Due to the centrifugal force, it is happening. And in reality, in reality, what is the tendency of the motion of anybody? Anybody wants to move in a straight line. Anybody wants to move in a straight line. Okay. But uh, here, what is happening? Here, there is one force that is acting in this direction and one force that is acting along the direction uh, uh, in the uh, along the direction of the center okay means opposite to this centrifugal force that is the friction and that friction is with friction between the tires of the car and the road so basically this friction will save the car for uh, not to move in a straight direction if this car will move in a straight direction that the, the condition can be dangerous you know so basically what we want we want the maximum friction between the tires and the car the maximum value of the friction between the tires and the car okay so i think i should explain this again otherwise it will be confusion for you okay so basically now what is happening here Okay. Basically, this friction force should be maximum. This friction force should be large. Okay. So that the car safely uh, turn the curved road. So basically, you want that the maximum value of the friction, the maximum value of the friction between the tires and the road, that friction and this friction is saving, that friction must be greater than or equal to. And what is the force that is take that is uh, uh, taking away from the road this force. So basically this force must be either equal to or greater than this force so that the vehicle can take the turn safely. So you can write mv square by r. mv square by r. What is r? r is the radius in which this vehicle is moving. Okay. Or you can say radius of this curved track radius of this curved track this, this is a curved track so it will have curved track so it will have radius also okay now there is one more thing uh, basically this will be a horizontal plane uh, means curved road suppose this is a road okay this is a curved road this is not looking a curve and the vehicle is moving like this so basically this is a vehicle suppose this this is the vehicle this is the vehicle and this vehicle have some weight and that weight will act in downward direction that weight will act in downward direction, okay? Suppose this is just the surface or surface of the road. This is the road, okay? What is this? This is road. And this is your vehicle. Okay. This is your vehicle or this is your car. This car will have some weight acting in downward direction. That is mg. mg is the weight. This mg is basically the weight. And remember, as this car is in the tires of the car or the car is in contact with the surface of the road, so this road will provide a normal reaction. Remember this point, normal reaction. This road will provide a normal reaction. And that normal reaction is perpendicular to the surface of the car and the surface of this uh, road. Okay. But you know that the car is moving in this direction. Okay. C car is moving in a horizontal direction, not in a vertical direction like this. So basically, if there is no motion in this direction, 
along the uh, or you can say in a vertical plane basically this is a road and in this direction in this direction or in this direction no motion if there is no motion so so you can say that this normal reaction must be equal to the weight of the car this normal reaction must be equal to the weight of the car okay so you can write as there is no motion so normal reaction applied by the surface on the car is equal to the weight of the car okay okay so now this is the maximum force and fr maximum friction force maximum value of the friction force is given by the coefficient of friction is given by the coefficient of friction just wait so the maximum value of the friction force is given by coefficient of friction between the road between the between the surface of the road and the tire and the normal reaction okay mu is the coefficient of friction between roads and the tire coefficient of friction between the roads and the tire and maximum friction force is equal to mu times of normal reaction okay so now you can put the value of the normal reaction here mu times of normal reaction is equal to mg so write this as mg okay now your friction force is is this maximum value of the friction force between the tire of the car and the surface of the road is this so basically now you will put this maximum value of the friction here okay so it will become mu mg must be greater than or is equal to mv square by r and what we want want we want the surface speed of the car so that the turn can taken by the car successfully okay so now you can see this m and m will be cancel out this m is the mass of the car and here is also m is the mass of the car okay and it will become uh, v square it is greater than is equal to and this is a mu into r and this is g also this is equal to v square okay so you can write this as v square must be less than either less than or equal to mu g r you can write this okay now this is the square now you can take under root so you will get v is less than equal to under root of mu into g into r so basically this is the safest speed and this is the speed up to which your car will not move in straight line straight line means your car will not move away from the road okay will not go in this direction your car has to have has to move in this direction like this this car have to follow the circular track basically this this track this car has to follow but i have told you this car has the tendency to go in this direction but which force is saving friction force here is the saving this friction force is saving the car got it na shafuddin yes sir earlier also i have told you but once again i have just revised it for you okay now what will happen uh, when what will happen when speed of the car is greater than mu gr means what will happen when you are you are driving the car uh, at a greater speed means at a speed greater than this value then in this case you know what will happen there will be skidding and the car will skid outward okay so due to the centrifugal force the car will skid like this in this direction try to skid in this direction okay so you can say that uh 
skid outward the car will skid outward uh shavrin do you know about the banking of roads roads banking of roads first banking banking of roads this time showing uh, the this is sir just on that i'm showing it basically banking means <clears throat> okay sorry <clears throat> banking of roads i am talking about so basically this is the banking of roads but shafridin right now you are in india yes sir uh, where in india the south in pa Hmm. It's uh around Tamil Nadu and Trichy. Okay, in South India. You are in South India. Yes. Okay. Basically, this is a banking of. Basically, this is a road. Now, this low road is lifted up like this. Okay. Why this road is lifted lifted up? Some uh, sometimes, na what happens? Uh, sometimes what happens? Uh, when there is a rainy season when there is a rain i am just this is not working today okay so what happens na in a rainy seasons uh, the friction between the tires of the car uh, decreases and due to that the coefficient of friction decreases the due to that the coefficient of friction decreases so if this coefficient of friction decreases means this whole value decreases so there is there can be a dangerous condition at even a smaller speed also okay so to prevent these things sometimes na uh, this friction force is not enough to uh, provide the uh, you can say centrifugal force okay so, sometimes we have to do this banking of the road i mean this is a road na suppose this is a road and this uh, this is a road and on this road this is the surface of the road and on this road the, there is a person like this like like going like this so sometime na what happens 
रोड विल बी लाइक दिस ओके लिटिल विट अब ओके दिस इज नोन एज द बैंकिंग ऑफ रोड बेसिकली दहीकल विज विल कम लाइक दिस ओके कम लाइक दिस मूव ऑन लाइक दिस and why this is why we do this i will just explain you okay now you can see this in, see this in this figure this uh, this is a banking of road done so banking of road done okay so now uh, here i will assume that the road is smooth and we have done only banking okay road is smooth and we have done the banking so same condition so पर्सन इज मुविंग इन सर्कुलर इन सिलेंड्रिकल वेल यू आर सींग दिस थिंग no actually this is this yeah. is different thing basically this is a different thing basically in this the person is moving in a bell like this and basically this is a vehicle moving on a road okay this is a vehicle moving on a road okay this is this is different thing okay actually you can see this is a road okay this is not a bell type of thing we can relate both the things but here the case is different so basically uh, this is the uh now here the whole condition will change there is no friction force i have told you we will first solve without the friction actually this is very interesting case uh this is very interesting is so what is happening here now this is a uh, this is a road basically now this is a earlier there is no banking of the road the road is plain Road is plain road. Earlier the road is plain like this. Okay, I cannot show here, but you have to imagine because this is a two D diagram. So here we cannot see each and everything. So you have to imagine something. This is a plain road like this. Now the vehicle is moving on a wedged road or a, a banked road. Okay, so uh, this time this road is the banked road. So how we will show the banked road? Basically, this banked road can be shown like this. Uh, basically what happens here uh, actually you can write here this, this. okay this. so you can see you can see that na you can see this ro road is somehow lifted like this okay from here this road is lifted okay this road is lifted okay by some angle theta okay here also the same is same case this road is little bit lifted or banked by some angle theta this is known as the banking of the road and you will get to know why we do the banking of the road okay okay <clears throat> and remember we are just discussing the smooth road here road is the smooth road is smooth okay road is smooth means the coefficient of friction between the road between the road and the vehicle of the tire is equal to 0 mu is equal to 0 okay so there is no friction force now there is no friction force now earlier i have told you to move a vehicle on a curved road curved road what is the saving force friction force now here is no friction so what we are doing here here we are doing the uh, banking okay this is basically known as the banking of road banking of roads so basically na see this uh, part only see this part okay basically from this part and uh, somewhere here will be the vehicle like this here will be the vehicle and this vehicle will moving uh, like this with some velocity so basically this is our you can say car this is a car on the best road 
car on banked road car on banked road so basically this condition is like the, this okay and this is your vehicle suppose okay basically this is your car and this car is moving this time now this type of road are you getting yes sir now your car is moving on this is your car and this is the road road bent okay and with an angle theta this is the angle theta this is the surface of the road basically the surface of the ro road is just elevated with an angle theta and this is just the horizontal level okay. so now we will see what types of forces are there on the car again now we will come to the same uh, condition again we, we have to see now uh, what what forces will be there on this car moving on the road okay now first force is the uh, this is as uh, this is a car so you can say there is a weight of this car mg this weight of the car will act downward in downward direction okay vertically downward okay is it or not yes sir okay so we can show this force like this now uh, this is the car and this is the surface of the road on which the car is moving so i have told you surface always provide the normal reaction here is the horizontal surface okay here you can see this is the horizontal surface and this is a normal reaction a normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface so here also there will be the normal reaction basically this is a game of normal reaction totally here will be the normal reaction like this okay this is the normal reaction suppose like this okay so this angle is theta uh, so i am taking two okay so shavardin can you tell me this angle if this angle is theta oh, so it's a point hmm i'm just asking if if this angle is theta can you find this angle theta by yourself it will be mg sin theta right no 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 actually you are right and that thing is different thing uh, i am just asking this angle mg sin theta is here i know here is mg cos theta but how we will find this angle theta okay so basically how you will find uh, as this this angle is 90 degree okay here i am telling okay here i am telling as this angle is theta and uh, this is the perpendicular so this angle is 90 so this angle will be and we know that sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 so this angle is 90 this angle theta so this will become 90 minus theta this will become 90 minus theta okay 90 minus theta okay so <clears throat> what will be this angle this whole angle this whole angle is 90 see this whole angle this angle this angle is 90 degree okay and this angle basically 
दिस एंगल इज नाइंटी माइनस थीटा ओके सो बेसिकली दिस एंगल विल बी नाइंटी माइनस थीटा एंड दिस होल एंगल इज नाइंटी एंड दिस एंगल विल बी थीटा ओनली ओके सो बेसिकली दिस एंगल विल बी थीटा so this angle will be theta okay when you will do when you will solve this by yourself uh, on pen uh, with a with the help of pen and paper then you will get to okay so basically here is mg mg is acting in vertically downward direction uh, so what can we do uh, this is a normal reaction so we will take the component of this normal reaction okay okay so this is the normal reaction so we can take the component of the normal reaction like this okay so this is the normal uh, <clears throat> so we can take the component of the normal reaction okay so uh, before that i want to tell you one more thing as this uh, vehicle is moving in a circular track as this vehicle is moving in a circular track so on this vehicle there will be a centrifugal force there will be a centrifugal force in this direction okay there will be a centrifugal force that is equal to mv square by r okay We, uh, you know that when a, whenever a vehicle is moving on a circular track okay if you are observing that vehicle from inside from the inside the vehicle okay then it will look like that this vehicle is going in this direction or you can say away from the center of the circle okay so in this direction there will be the centrifugal force there will be the centrifugal force okay this is centrifugal force centrifugal force okay now this question uh, now we can solve this very easily uh, this is the normal reaction i am taking the component of the normal reaction along this direction so along this direction the component of the i have told you in the vector how to take the component this is theta so along the line theta the component of this normal reaction will be n cos theta and along this direction along this direction the component of normal reaction will be n of sin theta okay now you can balance the forces and you will get the answer this road is smooth so there is no friction so basically now you can see basically here now you can see what is the reason behind this banking of the road to provide this n sin theta component so that the vehicle is not okay thrown away or you can say so so as to counter this centrifugal force okay now understood why we are doing the banking to get this component earlier basically uh, what you have to do na here uh, as this vehicle is not not moving in this direction so n cos theta is equal to mg for equation you can say that as the vehicle is not moving in this direction okay so now you can write that uh, this n sin theta is balancing this time this force this n sin theta this time is balancing this force or n sin theta must be greater than or equal to mv square sin theta you can say okay and here which force was saving friction force now when you when you bent up the road when you bent the road so what happens there is a component of the normal reaction now this component of the normal reaction that is n sin theta that is providing the centrifugal force okay so you can write that n sin theta is equal to mv square by r okay and from here uh, this is the equation number second so now you have you will divide the equation number second with equation number 
okay so you will get n sin theta divided by n cos theta n sin theta divided by n cos theta this is equal to mv square by r and mg okay now this m and m is cancel out okay and this n and n is cancel out so it will become sin theta by cos theta it will become tan theta is equal to v square divided by rg so basically uh, <clears throat> velocity of the vehicle or speed of the vehicle is equal to v square is equal to rg tan theta okay this is rg tan theta so this v is equal to under root of r g tan theta and what is r r is the radius of the circle or radius of the curved road okay r is the radius of the curved road so now this time this will be the minimum speed uh, for the vehicle okay okay shafruddin yes sir so from here the question can be uh, like this from here the question can be like this uh if uh, radius of the curved road is equal to 20 meter given okay and the road is smooth road is smooth and angle of banking angle of banking is 30 degree find the safe speed find the safe speed at which the car do not skid so what is happening here a car is moving on a banking bank bent road and angle of banking is given so what is the angle of banking this theta is angle of banking basically this theta is the angle of banking angle of banking okay now you can directly either use this formula tan theta is equal to v square by rg or or you can directly use this formula v is equal to under root rg tan theta you will get the answer simply okay but if you want to draw the figure then it will be better okay. answer you can find in this way also v is equal to under root of rg tan theta okay they are asking the safe speed na this is the safe speed this is the safe speed at which the vehicle can move on a banked road okay so this is the safe speed so rg tan theta so what is the radius of the road is 20 g acceleration due to gravity so you can take is at 10 and 10 theta means 10 30 you have to take 10 30 okay so uh, shabrudin when you will solve it you, so you will get the value so it will become uh, 200 and it will become 1 by root 3 okay so when you will solve it you will get some speed in meter per second that speed will be the safest speed okay if you want to draw the just uh, if you want to draw the diagram so basically the condition will be like this okay this is a this is the banked road this is a banked road and this is the angle of banking theta and here will be the vehicle okay and uh, in this direction in the downward direction there is mg in the downward direction there is mg that is weight of the vehicle okay and uh, in this direction there is mv square by r centrifugal force okay and in this direction what, what force n sin theta okay and in this direction uh in the in this direction there is a force n cos theta so you can just draw the figure also okay sometimes there will be a requirement to draw the figure okay so basically uh, you can say that 
this n cos theta valence is mg and n sin theta valence is this mb square by r so n cos theta is equal to mg equation 1 or you can say n sin theta is equal to mb square divided by r so when you will divide it you will get 10 theta is equal to v square by rg from here you can get under root of rg 10 theta and you can find the speed in that uh, the, this is the case when you have not uh, when you have forgotten this formula okay then you can just use this diagram method okay, you can draw the diagram one more question and that will be the last question of this class okay Okay. So, they are saying on a horizontal road, on a horizontal road, no banking, this time there is no banking. Uh, radius of the curvature of the road is given as 20 meter. And a speed which with the vehicle is moving is 18 meter per second 18 kilometer per hour sorry 18 kilometer per hour they are asking find the minimum find the minimum coefficient of friction minimum value of Coefficient of friction which will prevent skidding of <coughs> vehicle, which will prevent skidding of you can say vehicle. Okay. So basically, this is a curved road, suppose. Okay. So, this is your curved road. Okay. And on this curved road, there is a vehicle here. And this vehicle is moving with some speed. And that speed is given. This time, the speed is given. And now, uh, this road is a frictional road. Okay, there is a friction. There is a friction between the road and the vehicle. Okay. Now, uh, you know that when this vehicle is moving in this direction, so there will be a centrifugal force in this direction. That is mv square by r. What is m? m is the mass of this vehicle. V square, V means the speed of this vehicle. R is the radius of the curvature of the road. Okay. And in this direction, which force will be there? Friction force will be there in this direction. Friction force will act in the opposite direction of the centrifugal force. Okay. Now, if this is a horizontal, means when you will see this is a horizontal road as there is no banking. So, this is a vehicle. So, mg means weight of this vehicle will act in downward direction and normal reaction will be provided by this road as, as there is no motion here. So, n is equal to mg you can write again and is normal reaction is equal to mg. Now, uh, for uh, prevent skidding, for prevent skidding, what is the condition Shafruddin? I have just told you this friction force must be greater than or equal to this force. Friction force between the tires of the car or you just simply say friction force must be greater than friction force or you can say must be greater than is equal to mv square by r. And we want this friction to be maximum. So we will take the maximum friction. 
greater than equal to mb square by r okay so maximum friction i have told you is given by mu times of normal reaction greater than equal basically what you, what we have to do we can just uh, n is equal to mg is given na? so we can find the maximum friction here so maximum friction is given by mu into mg mu into n and that is n is mg so you can write mu into mg so you can write here mu into uh, mg is greater than equal to mb square by r so from here you can see this m and m will be cancel out okay m and m will be cancel out from and what you have to find you have to find this coefficient of friction mu is the coefficient of friction okay coefficient of friction now you have to find this mu it is greater than equal to this is this the here is the sign of greater than or equal to so m is cancel out so it will become v square divided by rg so coefficient of friction either greater than this value or equal to this value so what will be the minimum value of mu what will be the minimum value of the mu the minimum value of the mu will equal to v square by rg okay once again coefficient of friction is either greater than this value or equal to this value so what will be the minimum value of the mu minimum value of the mu is equal to v square by rg now you can find v square by rg now here velo uh, speed is given 18 km per hour so shahabuddin can we convert this km per hour into meter per second Oh, yes, sir. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, this speed of the vehicle. This is the speed of speed with which the vehicle is moving. Can we convert this speed kilometer hour into meter per second? Yes, sir. Uh, how? I have told you. Means how to convert the speed? This yes, basically this is 18. So multiply. Yeah, very good, very good. Five by eighty. So okay. it will become five meter per second. Five meter per second. So you can write here five square. And what is the radius? Radius is twenty. G you will take ten. So the minimum value of the mu, or the coefficient of the friction, minimum value is equal to twenty five. And this is two hundred. So basically, it will become one uh, by eight. Okay, it is it is one uh, by eight and one by eight is zero point one two five. So basically, minimum value of the mu is with is zero point one two five. So this is the minimum coefficient of friction. Minimum coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction. basically this is the minimum value of the coefficient of friction between the road and the vehicle or you can say between the road and the tires of the vehicle so this is the way you can solve the questions okay so now uh, i think you have to uh, take the screenshots okay so basically this is the concept of the banking and in the next class uh, we will start the vertical circular motion so this is finished now basically this is little bit critical part to understand But I have tried my best. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Okay. Take it. This is screenshot. Take it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Done. Okay. Let's go. Done. Uh, done. Done. Uh, okay. Done, sir. This is completed. Yes, sir. Done. Sir. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, okay. So now complete this. Done. Sir. Done. Sir. Okay. So now, so this is this uh, horizontal circular motion is finished. So in the next class, we will start the vertical circular motion. And I know that this part is a little bit uh, 
complex to understand okay so here are uh, different different things we are using we have used the friction but i have not uh, there is a chapter friction but we have skipped that chapter you have told me that circular motion is started in your school so now you are on vacation na yeah yes sir okay now you are on vacation so what you have what you should do okay so enjoy your vacation